Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Excavation Point Zoo. My name is Swoop there and I have dived straight into a speed build today. A little bit of a shorter episode than last time. I have made a lot of cuts simply because uh, there wasn't less footage. In fact, there was probably more than the first build, but I just had to... Um, cut quite a bit of it out I didn't want it to drag on I also did quite a lot off camera as well so excavation point zoo I'm super happy to be back in here and really excited to build for it I'm actually having heaps of fun building for this zoo um, I don't I think it's just because I'm really enjoying collaborating with Mrs. T-Rex. Um, she is an awesome content creator. If you haven't head over to her channel yet and subscribed, you definitely, definitely should. She's got an amazing Scottish accent, which I'm extremely jealous of, um, like just incredible and really, really creative. It's actually really cool when you jump back into a collaboration project like this and you can kind of snoop around and see what the other um, content creator has done and like the pieces that they've used and what they've actually uh, made and the processes that they've taken to actually build things it really inspires a lot of creativity in yourself and I didn't realize how much until this particular episode and I was like building this and I was thinking oh what else can I do what's new and I just kind of went and had a little snoop at what Mrs T-Rex had built and I was like oh yeah that's kind of cool and then I kind of used similar ideas from what she did and kind of changed them a little bit and then built this structure that you're seeing now um she built an incredible flamingo habitat in our last episode it's really open and natural quite calming like there's a lot of water and nice vista points uh, so when we do a tour of the zoo at the end i'll definitely take you around there i'll also show you what's been done off camera i did quite a bit off camera for this episode like i mentioned before I did like an open air restaurant and kind of eating area and I really like it like I you know I'm quite chuffed with myself to be honest um, that's probably my favorite part of the build and I didn't record it because I was like oh it's gonna be way too long it's already you know I already have two hours of footage just building the habitat and the viewing area I'll just turn the camera off and I'll build this restaurant and then whatever I get done I get done and I'll either finish it now and then it will be in the tour or I'll finish it next time and it won't be Anyway, I ended up being super inspired and I finished it and then I was devastated that I didn't actually record it because like I actually think it looks really good, like really good where it's situated. You can see in the back there, there's that little green marker on the ground. That's where I um, actually end up putting the restaurant and the little food eating area. Um, I really and I popped in a little toilet too and I also went onto the workshop and grabbed like a sink and put that inside the toilet so you can't actually really see it but it's just like one of those little things that if you're kind of searching through the park and looking for small details, you'll just find stuff like that. And you'll be like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like that person really thought about that particular little piece of, I don't know, little sink that just you might not otherwise think of. Also, having said that, though, when I finished this particular building, um, which you can see me fussing around with, God, I had trouble with it. And I really don't like it either, to be honest, guys, but I ended up just leaving it how it was in the end. Um, I don't actually really end up putting anything in that circular sort of auditorium like thing at the end. I was kind of going to make it like an education little spot and I was going to put lots of chairs in there and sort of make it look like somewhere where people would go to be educated. And then I was going to put like an educator um, stand in there but I didn't end up doing that I probably will in a later episode as you can see I'm going in now and starting to form the habitat and starting to put the rocks in I'm building a habitat for um, three different species today I'm building a habitat for the zebra the gazelle and the ostrich I did a lot of terraforming for this habitat not just because I wanted it to be a tiered habitat I did want it to be a tiered habitat so you kind of look up and you can see them roaming around in the hills and over the tops of the rocks and things but also because excavation point zoo is going to be a zoo that is built around an excavation site a dig site a dinosaur dig site um, simply because you know we were talking about prehistoric kingdom it's kind of how we came to know each other on uh, discord or on youtube and um 
then we were like, oh, what can we do in Planet Zoo that would kind of be a little bit dinosaur-esque? And we decided to do this. So this zoo is built around a old um, dinosaur dig site. I have started to terraform here, you can see. So in the back of this habitat, in between those kind of those two hills you can see at the moment, there is going to be a little dig site where guests can go and sort of look and see and then there'll be like implied dinosaur bones so it looks like there's you know it's still going on but it's not really still going on um so yes I did my best to hide this fencing um and then ended up making it sort of just a chain link fence that came above the rocks for a lot of the back of the habitat I really liked building this habitat I usually don't love building big habitats i like building smaller habitats that are like jam-packed full of stuff or they have like a lot of lush vegetation and things around them so they're kind of hidden um which you will see i've done in an episode down the track a little bit um but for this one i thought you know we need a big hill for the excavation site so what can i do on that hill to um kind of make it a little bit different and this is so different to anything i've ever built in planet zoo with like the tiered habitat and the lots of rocks and the animals can actually really traverse this whole habitat really well which I'm really quite proud of in the end I am um, you know after I finish the viewing building I do have really mixed feelings about the viewing building I don't love it um, but you know you don't always love everything that you build I may in future episode go back in and change it a little bit but it does kind of suit the the zoo itself so I mean I, I, I could just get over it really couldn't I and then just move on um, I do end up putting a roof on it and so on I also have built a little aardvark habitat which I haven't shown on my in my first video yet so when we finish this habitat here we'll head down and we'll do a real-time tour and I will take you through the aardvark habitat and the restaurant both which were built off camera and then I will also show you this habitat in full and take you around the flamingo habitat also and just show you in general what we've gotten done um, the next PK video which is prehistoric kingdom for those people that are new here is coming out super soon it is for a big dinosaur like a big ticket dinosaur a lot of people have been asking me to do it I have done it I've recorded it I just need to edit it and do the voiceover for it so that'll be coming out in the next couple of days so watch out for that one if you are on my channel for my prehistoric kingdom content if you aren't and you are new here um, I build in planet zoo and prehistoric kingdom primarily prehistoric kingdom but this is a little planet zoo project that i'm sure could get me back into creating some content for this game i actually forgot really how much i really enjoyed like the foliage and all the options that you have in planet zoo because i just got so used to the limited options that we have at the moment in prehistoric kingdom that i just kind of got used to it and then coming in here and you can see me trying to decide what plants I want at the moment because I just was just so overwhelmed with choice I really like those new fever trees they gave us in the latest DLC they're so cool I ended up taking them out I think they just didn't really suit this particular area but I do put a couple in in a future episode so keep your eye out for that that's a little easter egg for you I've also completed almost completed the dig site I'm going to give it back to Mrs T-Rex and see if she can do something with it as well because I mean I kind of ran out of a little bit of steam when it came to the dig site and although it, it looks pretty good I'm sure that there can be improvements made so there's I mean you can always improve anything can't you so with all of that said i really appreciate you if you are still watching pop in the comments a little roar for swoop there so a dinosaur roar or even just a dinosaur emoji um, and then i will know i will know which people actually have listened to this minute i think we're almost at the 10 minute mark there aren't many people that watch my videos this far in which is fair enough a lot of people get sick of watching speed builds and they just kind of want to see the start and the finish sometimes i'm the same so that's completely fair enough i am going to leave you now to watch the rest of the speed build if you haven't subscribed to my channel or mrs t-rex's channel please do so if you would like to see more of our content um, we really appreciate uh, the, any likes comments or subscriptions 
it's something that is really helpful to small creators and it makes you feel like you kind of have a bit more of a sense of motivation to keep going I guess when you can hear from people that are really enjoying watching your videos and I really do I hear from people quite often who enjoy watching my videos and I really appreciate hearing from them so if you're one of those people thank you so much and I will see you guys in the tour at the end of the video see you then Well, hello everyone. We're back from the speed build and we're back for my little tour of the zoo so far. So we're just starting out in the, as you can see, the entrance area here. We've got a really happy staff member. Oh, he was super happy, but he's just chilled out just a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head into the zoo. Tedgid Cam is moving quite slowly. I'm going to move slowly throughout some of this tour, but I am going to just speed it up so that we can get through excuse us mate we can get through sort of the entrance area I've put some fences up you can see just over here that is because there are things going on over there that have already been pre-recorded and I'm doing this tour after that has finished oops we've just jumped over the barrier radio okay so we're heading in and you can already see there's quite a few new things going on the first thing we're going to do is head over and take a little look at our aardvark enclosure now I'm not completely sold on this enclosure it's really cute I think that they have enough space I mean not according to the game they don't have anywhere near enough space but I think that it's perfect for them however I'm not really sold on the location it was the first thing that I did sort of right near the entrance building oh look at the little aardvark asleep you get a really nice view of them from here um, I think really what would be more believable would be if you had um, like some exhibit buildings right here where the aardvark enclosure is so I think what I'll do is in a future episode I'll probably move this and then I will put in like an exhibit um, house where people can sort of come in the first thing they see when they enter the zoo is like this little tiny exhibit house where you can come and look at maybe some scorpions or some spiders because really right here I don't think the aardvarks would be very happy you'd get crowds of people coming through that entrance way over there and really crowding over to really look at the aardvarks being the first thing that they can see so I think in future 
I will probably move it. Oh, here's a little aardvark coming. Hello, mate. Running across. Very cute. So, yeah, I think in future we'll probably change that. Let's just head quite quickly and just speed up this Teji Cam a little bit. Head over to the restaurant. Okay, so here we are in the open air restaurant. I think when it comes to biomes like this one, um, you really need to be careful with how you design your buildings or your um, plaza areas so it's super hot in this biome like when you um, turn it off Tejig cam you can see that it's usually hovering around 37 degrees which is hot so you really need things to be shaded and you need things to be either open air or indoor fully air conditioned so you can see here I've got this fully open air restaurant that I did as I said in the speed build built off camera um, I've got these shade structures which I got off the workshop I'll link below in the description everything else is built by me aside from the sink in the toilet which I'll show you guys in a minute um, and everything is just nice and cool and undercover I've got this sausage tree here and I popped this sign I'm a hundred years old admire don't pick because I feel like these sausages would be like a real tempting thing for guests to kind of jump up and grab and take home as a bit of a souvenir of the zoo so I thought that might deter I don't know some of the guests I suppose and then we're just going to follow this caretaker into the restaurant and we'll head over and get ourselves a pip shot juice from this lady here hello lady one juice please oh, she's very happy to see us okay thank you very much and then you can just head over and take a seat here you've got that nice waterfall in the background you've also got this beautiful planter in front of you it's really lush and full of a lot of tropical and desert plants then once you're finished you can head this way and then you've got the toilets just on this side there's a little sign down here that says watch your step because there is a little bit of a step up into the toilet and then you can see in here you've got your basin and your um, paper and the toilet on this side so I'll link below who made that basin as well people who build things like that just astound me then what we'll do is this is a little staff path we'll just head this way and you can see here there's a little staff only sign up here and if you do go around there there's just some doors into the back of the building so that you know the staff can get into the back of the shops and so on um, we'll head back onto the path and oh, he's in a hurry to feed some animals maybe we'll get to see some animals being fed shortly we'll go this way we're going to head to the plain zebra common ostrich and springbok viewing area which is up here so we'll just speed this up slightly and head up the stairs and we'll get a really nice view into the mixed species habitat we'll pop this way and have a little look in there we go and you can look down over the edge and see them all running around I really wanted this viewing area to be able to see the majority of the habitat but I also wanted to give the animals some privacy like some areas in the back where they could go and sit under shelters and hide or be away from the guests if they wanted to but you can see a lot of them just hang around in here we do have animal welfare and breeding and so on turned off for the zoo it just really is easier to build that way so um, I'm not sure whether they would all be particularly happy with this many animals in here but they're happy in in this game so that's what matters right um, they really do I really like this habitat how it goes right up and then over the back here will be the dig site in the next few episodes ahead so with that in mind we will head out of the viewing area and we'll head down the stairs and we will head around the corner here. We'll head to the Flamingos in a minute, but I just wanted to draw attention to this viewing area also. So it is for the same habitat, but I'm really trying to keep in mind um, when building for this zoo and for a lot of my zoos um, and parks at the moment, people that can't traverse stairs, um, I don't want them to be disadvantaged in any way because they can't do that. So I'm talking about people in wheelchairs or maybe the elderly who wanted to come and sort of have a slow walk around the zoo or whatever, but they can't get up and down stairs easily. This is still a really good viewing area for the same habitat. It's just not um, an, you know, the, a viewing area where you need to traverse the stairs in order to do so. So I think that I need to really keep that in mind um, a little bit more as I'm building. And I've just popped this dinosaur in here just to sort of be a little bit more reminiscent of the reason why we've built this park. Um, the link to the creator for that will also be linked down below. And then we'll just sneak around here and we'll pass the flamingos, which you would have seen in the last episode, but I just want to head up because it's so tranquil and calming. So we'll just head on up here and we'll have a look down into the flamingo habitat. We'll just pan around. 
and they're all over there having something to eat lovely and there's some swimming down here but isn't that just it's just so relaxing just to look down and see the water and hear the waterfall it's just a really nice entry point to the zoo so props to mrs t-rex for popping the flamingos in i really enjoy this habitat i think it is so nice and quiet and calming and really natural as well like a really natural habitat which is awesome so we'll just head back this way and then as you will see we will be back at the entrance be very careful not to show you too much of what i just did um, because we don't want anything to be ruined for you so there you are guys that's our little tour of what has been created so far in our zoo i really hope you've enjoyed it we are certainly enjoying building in it click on that like button comment an animal that you would like to see in this zoo or and um, subscribe if you're really enjoying our content thank you so much and we will see you in the next one over on mrs t-rex's channel take care bye